Right, so this is the Propex 1600 Compact. This is the one I was going to fit into the van until I mentioned it to a friend who then said he had a 2000 model sat in his garage that I could have, so I'm going to be fitting the 2000 and selling this, but I just thought I'd make a quick uh, video just going over how you wire it in, how to work uh, just before I then pass it on to whoever then wants it. So the nice, very simple, very easy, basic units themselves for fitting. Uh, you've just got your one gas pipe. Uh, your gas pipe should be running off uh, copper pipe all the way through to the bottle itself, or at least to a junction pipe for the bottle. Uh, you don't really want to be relying on flexi hose. This is just here for demonstration, just so I can wire it up, fire it up, uh, while it's not fitted in the van. Uh, the units themselves generally have uh, the igniter box. Uh, they're generally hardwired. You don't need to play about with those. And then the other wire that's coming off feeds off and around to the uh, the thermostat. And that's what you'll generally wall mount within your van, caravan, uh, wherever you're going to be putting it, in the garage maybe. Uh, that's the unit that controls both the heating element and the fan element uh, with your temperature selection there. I say that runs off and down into the unit, but on the earlier models, uh, Propex themselves actually recommended just to slice this cable in half uh, wherever you can then tap your power into it uh, and just use a chock block but it didn't make it exactly clear whether you needed to provide additional power for the additional cables for the fans when I bought this unit I actually emailed Propex themselves just to confirm all the wiring and they stated that you just need to power the positive and negative the orange or the purple wires the earlier models just had three wires uh, the later ones have all four but the orange and purple just want to go straight through a chop block they don't need additional power because that's all controlled by the thermostat so it's just one power off for the red, negative off to the black off to the battery I'll put that down there when you fit in the unit yourself in the uh, caravan or motorhome van uh, you do need to drill a couple of uh, vent holes for the unit tilt that up. Those are the two uh, pipes that come out of the unit that you do need to drill the holes for. One's uh, fresh air for the burner, the other one's the exhaust. Uh, so there's no actual fumes going into the van, they're all intake and exhaust go externally so it doesn't cause any condensation build up inside the van through the burning of uh, the gas. As it's all exhausted outside so you generally just attach some aluminium piping and duck that off to either side just so the intake isn't sucking the exhaust fumes uh, you duck those off outside, get a good seal where it's mounted, wherever you do choose to mount it and then it should sit pretty flush on your van floor like that uh, you'll then have your two uh, ducting vents coming off there we generally have adjustable vents as well. Uh, again, this one's an intake and that's uh, the out. So if it's uh, blowing cold, it'll just be intaking in there and it'll still blow cold out there. If it's hot, obviously that's where your warm, nice warm air will come. So you want your warm air going off to ideally an adjustable vent inside the van, just so you can uh, have the airflow going wherever you want it to, rather than just it blowing directly into a unit or anything. You, uh, if it's adjustable then you can ideally get the warm air exactly where you do want it. So once the unit's wired up and you've got the unit going off down to the battery and you've got your gas wired up as I say ideally with copper pipe going all the way down to your battery uh, on down to the bottle then you should be ready to fire up the unit. Now if you're buying a second hand unit Ideally you should test it before you fit it, you don't want to go through all the trouble of fitting it just to find out the unit might not work properly. That's another reason why I've got this set up here. I want to be sure that it's working fine before I sell it because as, uh, I'm going to be fitting the 2000 model. So I'll just reconnect one of the wires to the battery and I'll fire this up and I'll show you it working. Yeah, that's the unit wired up. So once it's all connected to the battery and you've got your gas supply pipeline in place as well, uh, ideally you want to turn the temperature to maximum. Uh, you just turn the thermostat to the flame setting and the unit will circulate air for about 10 seconds you should hear a click and after the click the burner should ignite and start kicking out warm air 
if you don't hear the burner uh, then the actual system itself will shut down just to stop any uh, additional gas going through because it hasn't ignited so it will go into a sa uh, fail safe mode so I'll just turn that to the flame and you'll hear the fans kicking in for 10 seconds and you should hear the click and a change in sound and that'll be the burner Uh, kicking out nice warm air there. If I just put a tissue in front of it, you can see the uh, the air flows blowing the tissue away. And if I put that near the intake, just to suck it in. You can hear the burner kicking away, and uh, that's nice warm air coming out of there. So it shows the unit's working lovely. Just ready to be fitted now. So yeah, really, really nice units. They're not quite as noisy when you've got your proper exhaust and intake pipes connected and your vents, your ducting vents connected. So this is just because it's in the open air with nothing else connected, just the bare unit. But yep, yeah, that's uh, the Propex 1600 Compact. That's the Mark II. I'll turn that off there. You can also go into the cold air mode and just push it to the other side and then that will just circulate cold air. It also cools the unit down as well. It does have an automatic uh, cool down mode after it's reached a certain temperature. The fans will then circulate for five minutes after you shut the unit down. It just hasn't been fired up for long enough to kick that in. But yeah, there you go. That's the, uh, the Propex 1600. You can tell which model it is just by looking at the back. Uh, Propex themselves just cross bits out just to indicate which one it is. So uh, if you're ever unsure exactly which one, just have a look on there and that'll tell you. There we go, that's the Propex 1600. I hope you found the use, uh, video useful. And if you're wiring them, uh, one in yourself, it's not hard at all. As I say, just positive and negative. Exhaust and intake and your gas, and away you go.